The apparition of the Lady in White, often associated with the Virgin Mary in the Christian religion, is a worldwide phenomenon. Recently it's been connected to the UAP UFO sightings, especially in the Bledsoe case. But in this video, I'm going to make the connections even before the Christian religion was born in order to find the real origin of the lady, what she truly represents and what kind of message she wants to share with the witnesses and the world. This is going to be a very interesting video with so many connections, so be sure to watch it in its entirety. Chris Bledsoe and his family are lifelong experiencers of the phenomenon and their encounters brought the attention of NASA, the CIA and the military for a reason. But before we delve into the reasons, let me explain the main encounter with the lady in white that inspired Bledsoe to write the book UF of God, the extraordinary true story of Chris Bledsoe. After many encounters involving orbs, missing time and light entities, Chris Bledsoe finally encountered the lady in white whom he believes is the primary entity behind his experiences. She encouraged him and gave him instructions to share his story with the world. Before the lady appeared, he felt a strong energy compelling him to go outside his house near the woods. From the woods a large translucent bull appeared, charging towards him. As the bull ran over him, Bledsoe turned onto his belly to see where the bull had gone. As he turned, the lady in white appeared in front of him. His fear disappeared and he felt calm. He described her as the most beautiful lady he had ever seen, radiating a true divine feminine energy. She shared some messages with him, some of which he reveals in his book. One of the messages was to share his encounters and experiences with the phenomenon to prepare the public for the upcoming event. It's important to note that Bledsoe always saw three orbs before the encounters of the third kind, meaning that some kind of entities would appear and there will be a communication. The owls he encountered were hairbringers of the phenomenon. Now before I share more similar encounters from around the world, let's explore the possible meaning of the lady in white and why the CIA, NASA and the military were knocking at Bledsoe's door. Who was the lady in Chris Bledsoe's case? From what I've heard about his case, the lady is an apparition of an ancient goddess that appears in all religions and is connected to the primordial tradition. In my opinion, he saw three bright orbs because the lady represents the highest feminine energy known as the Tree Devi. The Tree Devi in the ancient Vedas is a personification of the three goddesses Parvati, Lakshmi and Saraswati. Three orbs, three goddesses. The bull that he saw before the lady appeared is a personification of the bull Nandi, which was initiated as a deity by Parvati and Shiva. The owls that Bledsoe saw before his encounter represent Lakshmi. The same goddesses appear in Sumer and Mesopotamia. The three Devi represent Ishtar with the Bull of Heaven. She is often celebrated with her sister Eresh Kriegel, which is represented by owls and the three Devas are completed with Ninhursag, the fertility goddess. In Egyptian mythology it's Hathor, the mother of the bull Apis, which later merges with Osiris. The three Devi are Isis, Hathor and Nephetis. In Greek mythology, especially in the secret Eleusinian mysteries, the lady is Hecate, the three-faced goddess. In Celtic mythology, she is called Bridget, the triple goddess. She even became Saint Bridget in the Christian religion due to her apparition curing many diseases of the people among whom she appeared. Bledsoe was also cured by the phenomenon. In Christianity, she is Mother Mary, but she embodies the same divine feminine energy that is linked to a specific aspect of our reality. The bull represents the beast, the sacrifice and the resurrection themes present in all ancient texts. The Hindu god of destruction, resurrection and new beginnings is Shiva and his bull is Nandi. In Egypt, it's Osiris and the bull Apis. These concepts later transferred into Greek and Roman mythology as the merged god of the sun, Serapis. In the Vatican, there is a museum known as the Temple of Isis and Serapis, when you can find sculptures featuring Serapis, Osiris and the bull Apis merged into one and the goddess Isis. In the Sumerian ancient text, the husband of the goddess Ishtar, known as Temus, is associated with themes of death, rebirth and fertility. 
Tammuz dies and descends to the underworld and later he is resurrected by Ishtar just like Osiris is resurrected by Isis. In the Eleusinian mysteries Hecate was also connected with Dionysus who under the mystic name of Iacus was regarded as her son, brother or bridegroom. Dionysus is the Greek personification of Osiris and it's also connected with death, rebirth and resurrection. In Celtic mythology Brigid the three-faced goddess is connected to the god the Tagda, the deity of life and death, agriculture, fertility, magic and druidry. In Christianity the Virgin Mary is the mother of Jesus who like the ones mentioned before died and was also resurrected. This theme is present across various religions and secret societies. One such example is Mitraism, where Mitras, the messenger of the god of the sun, is also connected to resurrection. All secret societies revolve around these teachings. And perhaps that's why the Bledsoe case drew the attention of the CIA, NASA and the military. He was telling a story that contained a message, an encounter well known to the gatekeepers who wanted to understand the message significance. If you don't think that's the truth, then you might wonder why the Statue of Liberty represents the three-faced goddess Hecate which is directly connected to the god of the sun Helios. Or this statue which sits atop the Manhattan courthouse representing one aspect of the tree Devi. Notice how she emerges from the lotus flower. The lotus is the symbol of Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess and a part of the tree Devi. She's often depicted standing on a lotus similar to the statue. In Egypt she is recognized as Hathor, a constituent of the Egyptian tree Devi and she is portrayed with horns. The lotus is also a symbol associated with Hathor. In this form she is representing power, beauty, fertility and prosperity. There are strategically placed sculptures across the USA all portraying the same theme, the hidden religion. However, I assume only a handful of people know their true meanings. The witnessing of the three orbs dates back to ancient times. This photo is from the Roman period before our current era. The same phenomenon has been witnessed and in my opinion everything is connected to the sun. A similar case to Bledsoe's is the apparition of Our Lady of Fatima, also known as the Fatima Marian apparitions. These were a series of events in 1917 during which three young shepherd children reported seeing apparition of the Virgin Mary in the vicinity of Fatima, Portugal. The most famous part of the Fatima apparitions is the miracle of the sun that occurred on October 13, 1917. On that day thousands of people gathered at the apparition site and they reported seeing the sun appear to dance and move in the sky. This event is often interpreted as a supernatural sign to confirm the authenticity of the apparitions. This further proves the hidden religion and the connection to the sun. The messages that the three children received in this case are bone chilling. The first secret is said to involve a vision of hell that the children witnessed during the July 13, 1917 apparition. They saw souls suffering in a sea of flames and were given a strong warning about the reality of hell. The lady urged them to pray and make sacrifices for the conversion of sinners so that they might avoid eternal damnation. The second secret included a warning that if people did not change their ways, Russia would spread its errors throughout the world causing wars and persecutions. This war would be presaged by a knight illuminated by an unknown light as a great sign that the time of chastisement was near. The lady asked for the consecration of Russia to her immaculate heart. The third secret was initially kept secret by Lucia, one of the visionaries at the request of the lady. It was not until 2000 that the Vatican revealed the content of this secret. The third secret is a vision that depicts a pope being shot and killed while other religious figures and believers are martyred. The vision also includes an angel with a flaming sword that seems to symbolize God's judgment. I'm interpreting these messages as warnings of what is about to come, a natural cyclical event that will bring destruction and the resurrection of humanity. This event might be triggered by the sun and the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. But this is a topic for another video, of course if there's an interest. A lot of people should feel these changes as we progress towards the event. There is so much more connections to the lady and her apparitions. Take a look at this black Madonna statue found in Spain with the bull sitting alongside her. 
the bullfighting in Spain is connected to the secret religion and the sacrifice of the bull of heaven dating back to ancient times. There are also many other apparitions of the lady like the one in Akita, Japan. And one very important thing that I almost forgot to mention. The lady in the Bledsoe case had a triangle on her chest. The upward triangle called Trikona in the ancient Hindu text represents Agni or fire, Linga and Purusha, two aspects of the divine masculine energy. The opposite triangle represents water, Yoni and Prakriti, two aspects of the divine feminine energy. When they merge together, they create the Shatkona, which represents creative activity from which the cosmos springs forth. When a circle surrounds the hexagonal figure, it symbolizes revolving time. When the Trikonas are represented in a disjointed manner and are separated from each other, they symbolize the cessation of time and the cosmos ceases to exist. My next video should be pretty exciting and you won't want to miss it. I hope you are ready for it. And with this thought, I'll end my video. I hope you like, share and subscribe with notifications on. Also, if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Your support is the only way for this channel to survive. Thanks to my Patreon supporters.